Talk about it with Gatika. We are here live and direct. Ladies and gentlemen, I am so excited. We have the toxic king himself. What? What the f Dane Richards is in the building. Bow. Bow. BK is in the building. That's a fact. Born and raised. I'm happy that we got to do this. I've been following you for a while. You know, no creeper shit. <laughs> Even though I know that that's what you're all about. Listen. If you try to break up with me and think I'm going to just say, okay, like a fucking dummy, bitch, you got me fucked up. If she's the one. Or if I think she's the one. Mm. This guy is like literally you. Well, hopefully not literally. Uh-oh. <laughs> so we're going to start my show off with something I like to call where you at. Yeah, okay. And I figured it would be perfect for you because with your toxic traits and your mm. stalkerish vibes, I did some serious digging. Let's talk about it. Oh my God. Okay, it's happening. Where are you at? <laughs> that is me in Atlanta doing weird food combinations. I started doing live streaming on Twitch, and I was like, you know what? This is a thing, so why not try it out? It's probably one of the worst decisions I've ever made. I, worst? I've done a lot of dumb shit, but that was hands down, like, probably like top. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Like Where are you at? That was my first time in Atlanta, actually. Really? That's when energy just started to pick up. I went to Atlanta for All-Star Weekends. Oh, okay. And I'm not going to lie. That would kind of made me fell in love with being outside in Atlanta, like working in Atlanta. So I heard it's a whole vibe out there. I, and I it, haven't it gone. Ain't, it ain't my, my spiel. It ain't my vibe. But I'm not going to lie. Atlanta's lit. Is it? Lit. Well, I'm going to see if I could get booked out there and do some heavy yeah, twerking yeah. contests. We'll see how that goes. Where are you at? <laughs> that was when I met you for the first time. Two years. It was about two years ago, right? Yes. What event was that? Rotimi. It was his listening party. His listening party, yes. Like, I like went on stage and he was like singing and he did the like bang 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 confessions of a killer. Oh, and I was just like, oh my God. This is happening right now. <laughs> and I had so many of my friends jealous on Instagram that day. Really? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I had put you in the thread as well, because I was like, yo, Toxic King, he mad funny. Ah. It was love off rip. Yes. Off rip. Well, that concludes my where you at. Okay, okay, okay. That was that fun. That was I wanted to talk about the unspoken truths about toxic relationship. I'm like a guru for this shit, so mm. let's talk about it. What do you feel about the impact of technology on relationships? It's kind of doing more bad than good for us because it creates a lot of insecurities. Mm. On top of creating insecurities, it creates a lot of different ways for people to cheat. People back in the day had to do it the long way. Be on like the payphone or something. You gotta be like- That's a lot of energy to have guy. a side person. You feel me? Like now it's just like, know what I mean? Like, big booty, easy. big booty, big booty. Yeah, it's easy now. What would you say to tell somebody's toxic? What's a red flag? To tell if they're toxic? Yeah. Signs. If I tell you my sign, you'd be like, oh, no, can't do that. What's you know, your sign? I'm a Taurus. Ugh, my ex-husband's a Taurus. Ugh. Stop it. Get some help. Y'all are stubborn. I ain't gonna lie. Y'all are stubborn. Is stubborn. I mean, oh my I mean, God. A lot of pride. But see, I got pride, but I could, I could put it to the side easily. Okay. Yeah, That's I good. Mean. I'm a Pisces. Mm. Mm. There's a word that hasn't been invented yet for you guys when it comes to y'all emotions. So invented then. You, so invented can you, then. Can you even explain your so emotions? So invented then. Can, can be real though. Can you explain your emotions? I would like to say I am a gangsta ass crybaby. Another one. Okay. Okay. We can agree to disagree. But okay. Pisces are that bad? It's I'm a February it's Pisces. Not that bad. Y'all would find something and then make up a whole scenario to it that has nothing to do with the real situation. I don't know what you're talking about. Exactly. If one of the people in a relationship cheats, can that relationship ever be fixed again? Absolutely. You don't feel like if you did it once, what will make you not do it again? And you was that comfortable then, like what's gonna change? People make mistakes. If I love you enough, I don't mind giving you a second chance. Do you so think people could be with just one person for the rest of their life? Yes, I do. My parents have been married for over 30 years now. Oh, that's beautiful. Mine too. Now, but my parents are born again Christian. I don't know. Oh, really? Okay, so. I'm a so, PK. I'm a pastor's kid. Oh, okay. I, think I grew up in a church. But when I turned 18, I just rebelled. Oh, no, I'm still. I actually just went back. I think that I try to be a good person and, like, I don't steal and things like that. But, like, to have that whole 
like a relationship with God, like talk to God, you know? I feel like I don't that's know. a personal thing everybody has yeah. to for themselves. Yeah, because I, I definitely believe in science. I go on faith. I ain't really like Yeah, it. okay, that's Let's good. Let's get a little personal. Let's do it. Because you as an influencer, as a creative, like, can you walk me through what is the process of, like, writing, you know, your skits? <laughs> it's going to sound bad, but believe it or not, I don't, I don't write anything. Okay. I literally just go in my car, and then the first thing that pops into my mind, I just do it. That's amazing. It's like freestyling. That's fire. I got a pretty toxic mind. It's okay, right? I, mean, I tell this to people all the time. I'm the mascot for the toxic shit because I say the things that people don't want to say out loud. Facts. I've definitely reposted you on some <laughs> vibes. like, And it was always in a time where I was trying to throw subs at the person I was talking to. I would make sure to repost it be like energy, <laughs> vibes, schmood. You know what I'm saying? I'm just a messenger. Um, can you give me some challenges of what it's like being an influencer and a creative and what that's like living your life in public? My most biggest challenge when it comes to being a creative is dating. Mm, I can see that. Yeah, only because like the girl who I do decide to be with you gotta be strong and yeah. be ready for the fact that a lot of my supporters are, are female. I'm gonna do my best to make sure you don't ever feel disrespected, mm -hmm. but there's, there's but so much I can do. You gotta, you kinda gotta work with me. Cause these girls Cause, be a little crazy, right? Yeah, I'll shut it down real quick. You're not about to disrespect my girl. Good, that's good energy. So can you tell me about what you think the importance of influence is in this day and age? You know, I didn't realize how important it was until I started to go outside and people started to notice me. Even with them noticing you, you have people that hit you up and be like, yo, bro, like your videos help me from suicide. Wow. And your videos help me like go on the next day. Your videos help me get back with my ex. Like I'm just being funny, you feel me? But I, I don't I don't realize how much people I'm really touching mm -hmm. and really inspiring, hence influencing as an influencer. So it's bigger than just the laughs and the toxic things. It's it's people out there that I'm really touching without me even realizing it. It's relatable. So yeah. like people feel like it's a connection with you. Right. Let's get into lightning round question. What's your go-to corner store order? Chop cheese. He, Chop he cheese. knew exactly what was up. Facts. What's the longest you ever went without a shower? Two days. Only because my shower wasn't working. That's it. It's not because I'm a dirty nigga. I smell good. I mean, I don't think two days is that bad. <laughs> you know what's funny? The girl from Wild and Out, no shade. She basically was saying like she went like a good week without a shower. And she said it proudly? She, she was like surprised that people didn't do that. A week? <laughs> Yo, face. You know, a week is reaching. I know with your hair, like girls with their hair, like That's you should different. shower, but like you don't have to wash your yeah, hair, you know? Bro. But like to straight up be like, I haven't washed my pits and my hoo-ha right. for don't, a whole don't week. Quote me. Don't quote me, but it was, it was for a long time and I was kind of surprised. If bro. you could be invisible for one day, what would you do? <laughs> yeah? Probably, easily, yeah. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay. What would you invest the money in? Me. Okay, what aspect? I gotta I test the temperature. I wanna see what you mean by everything. Trust. Let's be realistic. If you was to give me anywhere between 15 to 10 bands right now, I could flip that into a million dollars. Mm, I guess Easy. we could talk about that after my show. What would you consider to be the most embarrassing experience you've ever been in? When I farted in front of my ex for the first time. <laughs> by accident. But how long were you guys together before it you wasn't farted? Long at all. <laughs> it, was What's... Like, it was like two months. That's a that's, no, that's, that's, that's like still, seven years in New York time. I, I'm be real, even within a year, you probably still in your head before. My ex boyfriend, who was with me for like five years after this, but the first time he tried to kiss me, well, he did kiss me. Mm -hmm. I farted, like missed, like. Wow! Like, were you you were nervous? I was fucked up a little bit. Like, I was drinking beer, and beer gets me gassy. <laughs> But he stuck around. You, if you know, you know. So he was he, okay. He was he was he was a keeper. He was feeling me. Okay. Some guys get real weird about farts. They'll be like, "Oh my gosh, she farted!" Like, yeah, girls, you fucking fart too, girls, bro. Girls don't fart. Girls, I fart. Girls are not supposed. But to I fart. don't fart in front of my boobs. What's the worst like, way you've ever seen somebody mess up on social media? Oh, this is gonna be fake spicy. I feel like the worst thing you could probably do is get pregnant. On get, social media and like someone, publicly, somebody, yeah, and just do that on While IG. You're in a relationship, knowing, that, yeah, yeah, do yeah. better. There's so much dick in the world. There's so much. Why? You know what I'm saying? Why? To wrap up our lightning questions, 
what are some strategies that you use to de-escalate yourself? Because I like to spread mental health awareness. And even though we see that you get riled up in the videos, mm -hmm. what do you do to de-escalate when you're mad? I'm a pretty laid back nigga. I don't really get mad. I'm, if it is getting heated, I'll take a step back. Mm. Like, like, hold on. Let me try to look at this from your perspective. Okay. Let me check myself. What did I do? Did I say something that probably got you off? Did I do something that got you off? Let me see why you're looking at it this way. Okay, cool. And then that's when we get to communication. What do I got to do? What do we got to do to talk about it? And then fix it from there. All it really is is just communication. Communication. Hey, that's what's important. Yeah, it's key. Let's get into the talking about it. Pete Rock goes off on um, about Heavy D and, and the boys not getting enough recognition in, in Hip Hop 50's celebrations. Mm -hmm. I agree that he should have went off. Especially when it comes to the BET Awards. Don't get me wrong. Chief Keith being at the BET Awards, we needed that. Okay. Yeah. Shout, shout out to all this. Ice Spice doing her thing heavy right now. It's a lot of people right now, even in the early 2000s, you know, y'all was on that stage, y'all was rocking, it was cool, but if we don't give respect to the pioneers, then we, none of us- The history, yeah. the history, like it's not about the last 10 years, it's not about the last uh, 20 if, years. If it's, it's a 50, 50 year yeah. yeah. You gotta give respect. Who do we hold accountable for that? That's a good question. The networks and people in culture who aren't giving it as much attention as it's supposed to give. Mm. Mm, shots fired, Dude, ne bow, bow. network and people not bringing awareness to 50 years of hip-hop. But then hip -hop. Again, who are the people in these networks? Are That's they, what I'm saying. You know what I mean? Are they? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? See? Let's talk about it. Tory Lanez facing cruel and unusual punishment. Free Tory. I'm going to stand on that. I'm going to be spicy right now. I really love her, though. Did she lie? Yes or no? I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Did she lie? So this is the thing. Let's unpack this. this she it. claims she got shot in the foot. Are there witnesses or not? There's a lot of witnesses. Public knowledge. And they're saying she didn't. Yeah. And now what? I'm just saying there's a lot of people in some high places. And once you need something done, it's going to get done. Mmm, so you're saying that these are just pawns in a bigger scheme. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying, why would a woman, where she's at in life, mm -hmm. why would she do that? She doesn't need that to be lit. She doesn't need that to have a you're name right. for herself. So why right. go on the record and be like, this happened, especially in the type of culture that she's in, where snitching is so frowned upon, or like, why would she do that if it wasn't true? So Snitching doesn't count towards someone who's not in the street. You're just an innocent bystander by, mm. by this point. Once you said this, there's nothing else that you can say. However, did lie. Even on live TV, when she was being interviewed, they was asking her, have you and Tori had any sexual relations? She said no. Don't do that. No, no, I'm not going to tolerate that. She said no. No, she no. Said no. Having sex and getting shot in the foot is totally, totally different thing. You're absolutely right. But I'm saying... You made a pattern of lying. No, 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 and no. And that no. wasn't even the pattern that started it. It started by you saying you got shot in your foot. You have you did not get shot in your foot. And you're walking in and twerking on the beach, twerking on a boat the next day. Was she twerking on the boat the next day? Yes. There's evidence of this. Yes. Well, I don't know. I will say at the end of the day, it's just my opinion. This is how I'm looking at it. Yeah. We don't know what happened. Right. No, this is a perspective. This right. is why it's a debate. Drake and Nicki Minaj reveal that their new music is on the way. I'm here for it. Anything, I like anything it. Anything I got to do with Drake, I'm, I'm here for it. No blaming. I'm just I really wish that Nicki and Cardi would just stop this whole beef thing, though. Like, I wish Nicki, as the senior artist of that two groups, she should lead by example. I also understand that whole New York ego mentality. I'm the queen of New York, and this is hip hop, and I have to be the queen. But like, nah, I like- I don't respect that. And the simple reason why I don't respect it is because Nikki, you gotta understand, you are a big inspiration to a lot of females who rap to this day. Yeah. So the fact that you didn't take a lead like how Drake took a lead. Mm -hmm. Drake took a young artist that nobody heard of and he hopped on a song and he made them niggas lit. Mm -hmm. You're doing it now. Perfect example. Ice Spice came out, she was lit off rip. Yeah. Well, she's yeah. got a strong team behind her. Right. Marketing team is amazing, by the way. If she would've did that with Cardi years before, it would have been even better for, for both of them. Who do you choose? Cardi. 
Me too. <laughs> I fuck with Nikki though. I fuck with Nikki. I do. I just don't like her attitude. Is there any teasers that you could give us? Anything, any exclusive content? I just got signed to the Wool Agency. Shout out to the Wool Agency. Hey. Shout out to Jewel. Um, and I'm not gonna say it's a fact, but it's pretty, it's pretty much in the works that your boy just might be on power, maybe. You might be on BMF, maybe. <laughs> I'm just saying, just look out for me on the big screen because it's, hey. it's, it's a lot in words. That's lot. right, and you heard it here first. First. Okay, yeah, first. Heard it here first. Make sure you shout out your handle. I want to make sure everybody stings in tune make with sure you. Make sure you follow me on everything at Dane Richards Official. Instagram, Dane Richards Official. TikTok, Dane Richards Official underscore. Well, you already know we're here every Wednesday, 6 p.m., Rough Riders Radio. If you missed last week's episode, make sure you check out the iHeart playlist. And we only bring fire vibes, you heard? They'll be like, DJ Gattaca. Like, no, bro, it's Gattaca.